course, the downside of this is that I obscure, like, you know, soccer matches, which is not good. Or I can fake a FM broadcast on whatever frequency I want. I know that it's a frequency which only has studied and no one uses, okay? So I can just sit there, send free A messages plus 8A packets. So your satellite navigation system is going to cycle, oh, there's a new station, and then it's going to get messages from that as well, okay? So these are two ways for doing it, okay? So for being stealthy, okay, so I said that we can obscure soccer matches and stuff, but what you can do, since most uh, broadcasting stations, you got two frequency, the main frequency, and then you got a secondary frequency, because usually you pick, you pick, you're picking the audio from like the, the closest antenna, but it's also one on a different frequency, okay? So what you can do, instead of completely obscuring the channel, you can remix in audio from the secondary frequency. So in your circuit, you got a one additional antenna with one additional tuner, you lock that tuner on the secondary frequency of the channel you are jacking, and you remix in that information when you're faking your message, right? Because you don't care about the audio component. We're, our goal is injecting RDS messages. We can do whatever we want with the audio component. Since we're not doing anything before, you are only hearing the carter tone, okay? But there's not, we can send audio there, okay? So no one is going to be able to tell that we're obscuring their channel, okay? So attack one. So what we can send. So we can send standard traffic messages and we can create queues. We can create bad weather, rain, smog, fog, fresh snow, rainstorm, Godzilla on the street, whatever. <laughs> Full car parks, I don't know. Let's go to the theme park. Oh no, we cannot, the, the parking is full. Overcrowded service areas, oh my God. Which is, I mean, that's kind of useless message to me. If you gotta go, you gotta go, right? I mean, <laughs> accidents, roadworks, and so on. Okay, it's not particularly exciting, but it gets better, lots better, and we're going to show that. So let's inject. Let's show you an injection here. Go on. Okay. So if you probably have a mobile phone that has a FM radio now. <laughs> you might be able to tune on the frequency we're sending to and see a, a different, you know, program service name. Okay, so now we have to prepare to prepare our You should RDS improve your typing packets. skills, you know? Sorry? <laughs> you should improve your typing skills. <laughs> it's, it's not my box. Okay, so um, f the first time that we, that we do is to set up the PI the PI code. In this case, uh, we use a PI code of, uh, of an Italian broadcaster, but okay, no matter for, for the demo. Um, the second thing that we do is to set up the PS, uh, um, the PS sorry, buffer uh, that contains the program station name. In this case, we, we use Black Hat. So you might want to use the real station name, right? If you're going to put we own you, and then you're going to see that on FM radio, that might raise suspicion, okay? It's not so tough to use Black Hat. Um, okay, anyway. Um, and the important thing is to, um, to set up the, the, our packet. Uh, the important uh, uh, blocks are uh, this and, and this in which we uh, we are setting up the um, the event code. In this case, the event code is a boring uh, queue. Nothing special. Sei troppo vicino. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, perfect. Sorry. Um, in this case, we set, uh, we have set up uh, a queue as event code, and the last two blocks uh, are the. Um, are the uh, location code. In this case, uh, we, use, uh, um, we use a location code, an Italian location code, Milano Genova, that is a famous uh, road in Italy. It's a very crappy road. Yeah. So, we have prepared our packet. And Stop it. Sorry. And now we have to uh, inject the packets via E square C, via E square C uh, bus. We are sending the, pa the packets uh, to the uh, EPROM of the, 
of the RDS encoder. So here we're programming the app room. It's writing over the bus to the chipset. If I hear one more beep. What? I got a laser pointer. Fuck off. So this is, a, <laughs> this is the output uh, on the serial port. We can grab it. Oh. Good boy. <laughs> okay, it's enough, I think. And now with our... <laughs> You're dead. You're oh, dead. I'm You're sorry. so not going back home. Oh. Let me, let me do that. <laughs> okay, so uh, with the minus D, we load uh, the database location table, in this case, uh, the, Italian, the Italian database location table. With the minus T, we, because, uh, I, I mean, we will, we will want to see only the TMC messages. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The PI code. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The PI code, uh, we have used the 151. Five two one eight. Um, black. Okay. You might wanna. It's your time. Off. Oh, no, my keyboard. It's a ThinkPad. Okay. It's the best keyboard ever. This is. Okay. So that's one message. So we can see. Well, I cannot see. Sorry. <laughs> Queue in traffic. Okay. And this is actually the event table that we send, okay? So it's working. We're actually sending a fake queue right now, okay? And suppose there was a car in here, you know, with a satellite navigation on, they would see that message, okay? And it's going, it's, it's been sent all over and over. So we're, we're repeating that message all over, which is actually how real TMC message transmission works. They're not sending a message once. They keep repeating it, or they keep repeating the set of messages because since we get, you know, no static noise, bad connection or whatever, and they want the message to reach your car, they just send it over and over and over, okay? So, so obviously there are some security concerns about being able to place a random accident on the road, right? Because you can follow it, okay? So, this is an example, queue in traffic, okay? So, and people, yeah, as I said, the problem is that people implicitly trust these kind of things, okay? My father would never, ever think that someone is going to do nasty things with these kind of messages. So he's going to just, oh, I see an accident, let's go, you know, there, and then there's a hitman waiting for you, which send, you know, fake messages for detouring you. So, so that's what we can do. So we can also close arbitrary roads, bridges, tunnels, with a number of events. There are events for closing roads, so no for traffic accident. So what happens if there's no diversion, diversion the silent navigation will pop up the event and ask for a detour. And usually when you see that the road is closed, you really tend to follow that advice. It's not like an accident. So the problem is that some navigation system, so if the closed road is encountered doing recalculation of the, of the route, which happens all the time, because every time you go in a tunnel, you lose the GPS signal, then you get it. The, 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 some navigation system, they replot the route, okay? Or, you know, basically you, you, you miss a turn, and then the navigation system has to replot the route. So if that happens and you close the road, the satellite navigation will silently avoid the closed road. Even if you're telling your navigation system in the, in the menu setting, look, I want to be warned about TMC messages, and I want you to give me a pop-up, and then I can decide. Even if you specify that on the model we tested, it silently detours you. So what you can do, you can close all the roads around a main highway or whatever, and then you can get the people doing where you want, and they don't have a choice. If they follow the satellite navigation system, it, if they follow the direction, and not saying about, not speaking about following the pop-up. There's no pop-up here. It's just silently going to direct you on the road you want, 
okay? This attack is also known as a keep your parents from reaching home or keep your girlfriend out or whatever. Just speak your best line, okay? So this is an example. This is a closed messages that we injected. We closed the road and here we get a pop-up, okay? So in this case, there was no recalculation involved or what happens, this is our normal route and then for some, for some reason, it got recalculated and as you can see, it avoids the traffic event which is there, okay? So it works. Security messages, this is where it gets fun. I, you know, I didn't assume that you would believe that we can, that we're able to inject those messages by just showing cues and accidents and stuff, come on. So the event table supports a number of security related messages and we doubt that anyone ever used them so far, okay? And they're very interesting because, so it's very relevant here, we're in the United States, so you got things like Homeland Security and TSA. So what do you think? So imagine this scenario, so you got like politician or your president or whatever is going with, you know, escort, and for some reason these guys have a satellite navigation system on their car, okay? It's not an unrealistic scenario, okay? And so your secret service agent, you know, watches at the screen and he sees a pop-up which is like, terrorist incident. <laughs> what do you think it will do? Oh my God, take cover, right? These people are trained to, to block everything in the first, you know, suspicion. So this is what you can do. You can put terrorist incidents whenever you want. I, why the hell did they plan these kind of codes in the standard? I don't know. But it gets better. It gets much better. Air raid, danger. <laughs> We got an air raid coming, so let's warn our drivers on the highway. <laughs> Please detour. And they're also so polite that in the standard, there's a code for air raid stopped. <laughs> so you can resume your course. There's no such thing for terrorist incident, though, because that's major, that never ends, okay? So you can do that. Air crash. And also, look at what you can do. This is an airport. And that's an air crash. I mean, that's believable, right? Bomb alert. This is one other message that TSA would love, right? Seeing bomb alert everywhere. Okay, and you can put more at once. Like you can you can mine all the highway. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So you can put bomb alerts and then air crash and then terrorist incident. Like you know, World War Three on your highway. You know, most of the times we go, okay, we get all those, you know. But, yeah, no. And we can pop up security messages if they affect the current route. So you can pop up, oh, security alert, stationary traffic, or whatever. And we got a demo for that. So let, let us show you how you do World War Free on satellite navigation systems. I plot a route. Toll road, okay, I can pay. So you wait five seconds. Oh, security alert, stationary traffic. This is the evil hacker. <laughs> so return. So what's going on? Let's go in to check our traffic event list. Bomb alert, security alert, air raid danger, closed road, no for traffic. So something major happened. And my dad would totally believe that. So when I got in the IT security world,